Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our TypeScript series. So in today's session, we are going to talk about what is type assertion. So type assertion is nothing, is a way to tell the TypeScript compiler. We know that we have this TypeScript compiler, which will automatically determine that what is the type of a specific value or a specific variable. But if I really want to overwrite, I know better than the compiler that you don't give any type or you don't enter uh, infer any type of the variable let me decide what will be the type of the variable that concept is called the type assertion right so type assertion is a mechanism to tell the typescript compiler that uh, i know more than about the type better than you better than you means the better than the compiler so let me decide what will be the type of that particular variable simple Right, so there are two ways that you can put the type assertion. The first way is uh, using this bracket. You can say this angular bracket, you can use it. And the second way is that using the as keyword also, we can use it here. So let's see one by one. So for example, let me tell you one simple example that I have, let's see one variable, number variable. And this number variable is any, which is equal to one, two, three, simple. So let's see this number is declared. Now I'm going to use this number variable and uh, I know that this number is, so right now TypeScript is not able to determine that what is the type of this because we have given any here. So now let me explicitly define that this number, what this number should be used as number only. So let's me do one thing. Let me write, let's see some total uh, bill, which is one, two, three. And I'm saying that this total bill should be a number. So here I'm writing total bill and this is just like typecasting that we do in C sharp or Java language. So here explicitly I'm writing this is a total bill should be a number. All right. And then I'm going to store it in some variable here. For example, let's see another variable that I can use it here that, okay, if, let's see, this is my a final bill is equal to this here like that. All right. So let's see, this is a total bill that I have written and now total bill I'm converting into a number explicitly. I'm defining it here. I'm not <clears throat> uh, allowing the TypeScript compiler to define the number. I'm saying that, okay, no, I know better than you that total sh bill should be considered as a number here. Then I'm going to store it inside the final bill. And then after final bill, whatever you want to add something else also, let's say I really want to add 200 extra information here. Then I'm printing that with the console, whatever the final bill amount should be there. So final bill amount 123 plus 200, I can add it here, right? So this is the simple extra advantage you are getting instead of compiler is deciding that what will be the type of total bill. And uh, that will be decided by the type script compiler here. I'm explicitly giving that the total bill please considered as a number and then add plus 200 or any arithmetic operation you want to perform here. So let me just simple compile it. Then I'm writing type assertion dot TS. And when I compile it, I'm going to run it with the node. So let's type assertion dot JS file. I'm going to compile it. Now you can say 323, we are getting it here. Simple. So this is, can be, this can be done with the anchor bracket. Also, you just need to supply any data type that you really want to be considered as. Now, for example, I'm going to create, let's see one more variable. Now let's use the using as keyword, using as keyword, how will you write it? So let's see some uh, value that I'm writing here, which is again, any type. And here I'm writing in double quote, let's see, hello type uh, script with a uh, Naveen automation. So we know that, okay, this is a, a kind of a string, but here I'm writing, let's see any here and TypeScript is not able to determine right now because of this any. So we really want to explicitly tell that this should be considered as a string. So whatever the sum value that you are going to write, for example, like this, what you can do, you can write it some value as, as what it should be considered as a string, right? You can write it like this. And then you really want to store it in some other variable. You can store it. So let's see this time I'm not storing another variable. I'm putting it in a bracket. So what will happen? This entire string that we have written from here to here, right? That will be considered as a string. And then I'm applying dot length property here. So this will give you what length will give you some number. 
So what is the length variable? Whatever the length of this particular variable, it will calculate it. And then I'm printing it here. So I'm printing len here. So here I'm explicitly telling that this sum value should be considered as a string. And now this entire thing, sum value will become a string. And then using the dot length or any string method here, and then I'm printing the dot length here. So let's see what is the output of this. So compile it and then run it. It's giving me 39 here like that. Simple. So you can use as keyword also, or you can use this anchor keyword also. You can use it here or anchor brackets also. You can use it here. So it's not about only number or a string, any Boolean type or anything that you want to store. You can store it here. For example, let's say I'm creating another variable and the variable flag is any, which is equal to true. And we know that, okay, flag should be a Boolean type, right? So I can consider it as that flag should be considered as a Boolean. That is what I can write it here. So this, I can store it in some variable or I can write it with the if condition also like this. Also, I can write it here. So flag as Boolean, I really want to consider if it is flag equal to true, then I'm printing something here that let's see, I'm printing hello TS, right? So what is the output of this? Let's quickly run it again. Let me clear the console and compile it. And then after that, I'm going to run it. So here is giving me hello TS. So I'm explicitly telling that flag should be considered as a Boolean here. Simple. So this is about the type assertion where you know as a programmer or as a developer better than the TypeScript compiler that what will be the type of a specific variable. It means we are going to override the concept of type inference that will be done by the TypeScript compiler. So we are explicitly giving our own data type here that we really want to use it. So you can use it accordingly here. So this concept is called type assertion. I hope this is clear.